Today in federal court, one of Wayne County Executives Bob Facano's former high-ranking appointees learned his punishment for accepting bribes. 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones was in court and he joins us now with the very latest. Ross. Joanne, when Tahir Kansby worked for Wayne County, he was known as a bully, known as an intimidator. Well, soon he'll be known as a federal prisoner. He learned his fate today. Kasny was sentenced to four years and nine months in prison for using his position as Wayne County's IT chief to accept $70,000 in bribes. It came in the form of cash, trips to Turkey and Florida, and cell phones for his children, all from a county contractor. When Kasny initially found out the FBI was on his trail, he tried to cover up his tracks. Well, today he apologized for all that in front of Judge Stephen Murphy. He openly sobbed in court, saying he did his best over the last two years to cooperate with the feds and secure a lighter sentence. He said that he and his lawyer met with the government eight times, answering their questions about things like the Wayne County Jail Project and campaign donations, giving us a rare insight into what the FBI is looking at right now in Wayne County. He said he tried to help the government the best he could. But today, the government said that just wasn't true. An assistant U.S. attorney told the judge today that Kasmi lied to the FBI again and again. He did the same to U.S. attorneys and was not very forthright. He said if the FBI, or rather the U.S. attorney, ever called him as a witness in future cases, he simply couldn't be trusted. Essentially, they said Kasmi did not help their case and therefore did not deserve a lighter sentence. So therefore, he got that four years and nine months, which was the minimum sentence agreement that he uh, entered into with the feds when he plea made a plea agreement two years ago. He will also have to pay a $15,000 fine. He was not taken into custody today. That will come sometime down the road. We'll have more on this developing story on later editions of 7 Action News. For now, for now I'm live outside federal court. Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you.